Sariki also spelt Saraiki, or Saraika is an Indo-Aryan language of the Landa Western Punjabi group, spoken in the southwestern half of the province of Punjab in Pakistan. Saraiki is to a high degree mutually intelligible with standard Punjabi and shares with it a large portion of its vocabulary and morphology. At the same time in its phonology it is radically different particularly in the lack of tones, the preservation of the voiced aspirates and the development of implosive consonants, and has important grammatical features in common with the Sindhi language spoken to the south. Sariki is the first language of 20 million people in Pakistan, ranging across southern Punjab, southern Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and border regions of northern Sindh and eastern Baluchistan. The Sariki language identity arose in the 1960s, encompassing more narrow local earlier identities like Multani or Riasti, and distinguishing itself from broader ones like that of Punjabi. Name The present extent of the meaning of Saraiki is a recent development, and the term most probably gained its currency during the nationalist movement of the 1960s. It has been in use for much longer in Sindh to refer to the speech of the immigrants from the north, principally Saraiki-speaking Baloch tribes who settled there between the 16th and the 19th centuries. In this context, the term can most plausibly be explained as originally having had the meaning, the language of the north, from the Sindhi word Siro up river, north. This name can ambiguously refer to the northern dialects of Sindhi, but these are nowadays more commonly known as Siroli or Sireli. An alternative hypothesis is that Saraki originated in the word Savira, or Savira, an ancient kingdom which was also mentioned in the Sanskrit epic Mahabharata. Currently, the most common rendering of the name is Saraiki. However, Saraika and Saraiki have also been used in academia until recently. Precise spelling aside, the name was first adopted in the 1960s by regional social and political leaders. Topic. Classification and related languages Sariki is a member of the Indo-Aryan subdivision of the Indo-Iranian branch of the Indo-European language family. Standard Punjabi and Sariki South Punjabi are mutually intelligible. In 1919, Grierson maintained that the dialects of what is now the southwest of Punjab province in Pakistan constitute a dialect cluster, which he designated Southern Landa within a putative Landa language. Subsequent Indo-Aryanist linguists have confirmed the reality of this dialect cluster, even while rejecting the name Southern Landa, along with the entity Landa itself. Grierson also maintained that Landa was his novel designation for various dialects up to then called Western Punjabi, spoken north, west, and south of Lahore. The local dialect of Lahore is the Maji dialect of Punjabi, which has long been the basis of standard literary Punjabi. However, outside of Indo-Aryanist circles, the concept of Landa is still found in compilations of the world's languages e.g. ethnologue. Topic: <laughs> Dialects <laughs> 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 The following dialects have been tentatively proposed for Sariki. Central Sariki, including Multani, spoken in the districts of Dara Ghazi Khan, Muzaffargar, Lia, Multan, and Bahawalpur. Southern Sariki, prevalent in the districts of Rajanpur and Rahimayar Khan. Sindhi Sariki, dispersed throughout the province of Sindh. Northern Sariki, or Tali, spoken in the district of Dara Ismail Khan and the northern parts of the Thal region, including Mianwali district. Eastern Sariki, transitional to Punjabi and spoken in the Bar region along the boundary with the Eastern Maji dialect. This group includes the dialects of Jani and Shapuri. The historical inventory of names for the dialects now called Sariki is a confusion of overlapping or conflicting ethnic, local, and regional designations. Hindki and Hindko refer to various Sariki and even non Sariki dialects in Punjab province and farther north within the country, due to the fact they were applied by arrivals from Afghanistan. One historical name for Sariki, Jatki, means, of the Jats, a northern South Asian ethnic group, but Jats speak the Indo Aryan dialect of whatever region they live in. 
Only a small minority of Sariki speakers are Jats, and not all Sariki speaking Jats necessarily speak the same dialect of Sariki. However, these people usually call their traditions as well as language as Jataki. Conversely, several Sariki dialects have multiple names corresponding to different locales or demographic groups. The name, Durawali, is used to refer to the local dialects of both Dara Ghazi Khan and Dara Ismail Khan, but Durawali in the former is the Multani dialect and Durawali in the latter is the Tali dialect. When consulting sources before 2000, it is important to know that Pakistani administrative boundaries have been altered frequently. Provinces in Pakistan are divided into districts, and sources on Sariki often describe the territory of a dialect or dialect group according to the districts. Since the founding of Pakistan in 1947, several of these districts have been subdivided, some multiple times. Status of language or dialect In the context of South Asia, the choice between the appellations language and dialect is a difficult one, and any distinction made using these terms is obscured by their ambiguity. In a sense both Saraiki and standard Punjabi are dialects of a greater Punjabi. Macrolanguage, Saraiki was considered a dialect of Punjabi by most British colonial administrators, and is still seen as such by many Punjabis. Saraikis, however, consider it a language in its own right and see the use of the term dialect as stigmatizing. A language movement was started in the 1960s to standardize a script and promote the language. The National Census of Pakistan has tabulated the prevalence of Saraiki speakers since 1981. Topic: <laughs> Geographical distribution. Sariki is primarily spoken in the southwestern part of the province of Punjab. To the west, it is set off from the Pashto and Balochi speaking areas by the Suleiman Range, while to the southeast the Thar Desert divides it from the Marwari language. Its other boundaries are less well defined. Punjabi is spoken to the east, Sindhi is found to the south, after the border with Sindh province, to the north, the southern edge of the Salt Range is the rough divide with the northern varieties of western Punjabi. Topic: Pakistan. Today, 20 million people from North Sindh, South Punjab, South Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and Eastern Baluchistan province speak Sariki. The first national census of Pakistan to gather data on the prevalence of Sariki was the census of 1981. In that year, the percentage of respondents nationwide reporting Sariki as their native language was 9.83. In the census of 1998, it was 10.53 out of a national population of 132 million, for a figure of 13.9 million Sariki speakers resident in Pakistan. Also according to the 1998 census, 12.8 million of those, or 92%, lived in the province of Punjab. India. As of 2001, Sariki dialects are spoken by 68,000 people in India. According to the Indian National Census of 2001, it is spoken in urban areas throughout northwest and north central India, mainly by the descendants of migrants from western Punjab after the independence of Pakistan in 1947. Some of these speakers went to Andhra Pradesh and settled there before the independence movement because of their pastoral and nomadic way of life, and these are Muslims. 56,000 persons report their dialect as Multani and 12,000 individuals report their dialect as Bahawalpuri. The dialects of Saraiki spoken in India are Jaffri, Saraiki Hindki, Tali and Riyasati Bahawalpuri, Bawalpuri, Rizati. Sariki is spoken in Karnal, Faridabad, Balabgar, Palwal, Rewari, Sursa, Fatihabad, Hisar, Biwani, Panipat districts of Haryana, some areas of Delhi and the Ganganagar district, Jaipur, Hanumangar and Bikaner districts of Rajasthan. Phonology <laughs> 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 Sariki's consonant inventory is similar to that of neighboring Sindhi. 
It includes phonemically distinctive implosive consonants, which are unusual among the Indo-European languages. In Christopher Shackle's analysis, Saraiki distinguishes up to 48 consonants and nine monophthong vowels. Topic: <laughs> Vowels. The centralized vowels tend to be shorter than the peripheral vowels i a o u. The central vowel is more open and back than the corresponding vowel in neighboring varieties. Vowel nasalization is distinctive, u, may you go, versus, u, may he go. Before, the contrast between, a, uh, and, is neutralized. There is a high number of vowel sequences, some of which can be analyzed as diphthongs. Topic. Consonants Sariki possesses a large inventory of consonants, in its stop consonants, Sariki has the typical for Indo-Aryan four-fold contrast between voiced and voiceless, and aspirated and unaspirated. In parallel to Sindhi it has additionally developed a set of implosives, so that for each place of articulation there are up to five contrasting stops, for example, voiceless, tala, custom, aspirated, t, ala, blister, implosive, ala, cobweb, voiced, dala, niche, voiced, aspirate, j, foam. There are five contrasting places of articulation for the stops, velar, palatal, retroflex, dental and bilabial. The dentals, t, t, d, d, are articulated with the blade of the tongue against the surface behind the teeth. The retroflex stops are post-alveolar, the articulator being the tip of the tongue or sometimes the underside. There is no dental implosive, partly due to the lesser retroflexion with which the retroflex implosive, is pronounced. The palatal stops are here somewhat arbitrarily represented with t and d. In casual speech some of the stops, especially, k, per gram, and, d, are frequently rendered as fricatives, respectively, x and z of the nasals, only n, and per meter, are found at the start of a word, but in other phonetic environments there is a full set of contrasts in the place of articulation, nm. The retroflex, is a realized as a true nasal only if adjacent to a retroflex stop, elsewhere it is a nasalized retroflex flap. The contrasts, and d, are weak, the single nasal is more common in southern varieties, and the nasal plus stop cluster is prevalent in central dialects. Three nasals, nm, have aspirated counterparts, nm. The realization of the alveolar tap varies with the phonetic environment. It is trilled if geminated to and weakly trilled if preceded by t or d. It contrasts with the retroflex flap ta, wire, ta, watching, except in the variety spoken by Hindus. The fricatives, fv, are labia dental. The glottal fricative is voiced and affects the voice quality of a preceding vowel. Topic. Phonotactics and stress There are no tones in Saraiki. All consonants except H, Y, can be geminated, doubled. Geminates occur only after stressed centralized vowels, and are phonetically realized much less markedly than in the rest of the Punjabi area. A stressed syllable is distinguished primarily by its length. If the vowel is peripheral, I, A, O, U, then it is lengthened, and if it is a centralized vowel, then the consonant following it is geminated. Stress normally falls on the first syllable of a word. The stress will, however, fall on the second syllable of a two-syllable word if the vowel in the first syllable is centralized, and the second syllable contains either a diphthong, or a peripheral vowel followed by a consonant, for example, deacon, carpenter. Three-syllable words are stressed on the second syllable if the first syllable contains a centralized vowel, and the second syllable has either a peripheral vowel, or a centralized vowel plus geminate, for example, teat, 74. There are exceptions to these rules and they account for minimal pairs like, itala, informing, and, itla, so much. Implosives <inaudible> <inaudible> The unusual for South Asia implosive consonants are found in Sindhi, possibly some Rajasthani dialects, and Saraiki, which has the following series. The palatal is denti alveolar and laminal, articulated further forward than most other palatals. The retroflex is articulated with the tip or the underside of the tongue, further forward in the mouth than the plain retroflex stops. It has been described as post-alveolar, pre-palatal or pre-retroflex. 
Ball 1936, p. 30, reports that this sound is unique in Indo-Aryan and that speakers of Multani take pride in its distinctiveness. The plain voiced, and the implosive, are mostly in complementary distribution although there are a few minimal pairs, like, ak, doctor, ak, male. The retroflex implosive alternates with the plain voiced dental stop, d, in the genitive postposition, suffix, da, which takes the form of, a, when combined with first or second person pronouns, mia, my, tea, your, a dental implosive, is found in the northeastern Jani dialect, which is characterized by a lack of phonemic contrast between implosives and plain stops, and a preference for implosives even in words where sariki has a plain stop. The dental implosive in Jani is articulated with the tongue completely covering the upper teeth. It is not present in Sariki, although Ball 1936, p. 29, contends that it should be reconstructed for the earlier language. Its absence has been attributed to structural factors, the forward articulation of and the lesser retroflexion of aspirated breathy voiced implosives occur word initially, where they contrast with aspirated plain stops, h, sit, tilde, b, fear. The aspiration is not phonemic, it is phonetically realized on the whole syllable, and results from an underlying h that follows the vowel, thus h is phonemically h. The historical origin of the Sariki implosives has been on the whole the same as in Sindhi. Their source has generally been the older languages' series of plain voiced stops, thus Sanskrit janayati, Sariki n be born. New plain voiced stops have in turn arisen out of certain consonants and consonant clusters for example, yava greater than dao barley, or have been introduced in loanwords from Sanskrit, Hindi, Persian or English ardian throat, bees bus. The following table illustrates some of the major developments. Within South Asia, implosives were first described for Sindhi by stake in 1855. Later authors have noted their existence in Multani and have variously called them recursives or injectives, while Grierson incorrectly treated them as double consonants. <laughs> <laughs> Writing system In the province of Punjab, Saraiki is written using the Arabic-derived Urdu alphabet with the addition of seven diacritically modified letters to represent the implosives and the extra nasals. In Sindh the Sindhi alphabet is used. The calligraphic styles used are Nasq and Nastalik. Historically, traders or bookkeepers wrote in a script known as Karaki or Landa, although use of this script has been significantly reduced in recent times. Likewise, a script related to the Landa script's family, known as Multani, was previously used to write Sariki. A preliminary proposal to encode the Multani script in ISO, IEC 10646 was submitted in 2011. Saraiki Unicode has been approved in 2005. The Kojiki script has also been in use, whereas Devanagari and Gurmukhi are not employed anymore. Here is an example of Saraiki poetry by Khwaja Ghulam Farid. A P milk kal w ap wisa tu, P angrazita. Language use In academia Department of Sariki, Islamia University, Bahawalpur was established in 1989 and Department of Sariki, Bahadan Zakariya University, Multan was established in 2006. Sariki is taught as subject in schools and colleges at higher secondary, intermediate and degree level. Allama Iqbal Open University Islamabad, and al Khair University Bimbir have their Pakistani linguistics departments. They are offering M.Phil. and Ph.D. in Sariki. Associated Press of Pakistan has launched its site in Sariki also. <laughs> <laughs> Arts and literature Kawaja Ghulam Farid (1845–1901). His famous collection is Diwan e Farid and Sashal Sar Mast (1739–1829) are the most celebrated Sufi poets in Saraiki, and their poems, known as Kafi, are still famous. Shakir Shujabadi Kalam e Shakir, Kuda Jaini, Shakir Dayan Ghazlan, Pile Patr, Munafkan tu Kuda Bachaway, and Shakir Dadore are his famous books. Is a very well recognized modern poet. 
Famous singers who have performed in Sariki include Ataula Khan Isa Kailwi, Paithane Khan, Abida Parveen, Ostad Muhammad Juman, Mansour Malangi, Talib Hussain Dard, Kamal Masad, and The Sketches. Many modern Pakistan singers such as Hadika Kiani and Ali Zafar have also sung Sariki folk songs. Media Topic: Television channels. Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Gilani on Monday said Southern Punjab is rich in cultural heritage, which needs to be promoted for next generations. In a message on the launch of Sariki Channel by Pakistan Television (PTV) in Multan, Prime Minister Gilani said the step would help promote the rich heritage of Sariki Belt. Topic. Radio These are not dedicated Sariki channels but play most programs in Sariki. See also Sariki people Sariki culture Notes <laughs>